sticky in motion. Here's the front end of a work in progress I keep on Charlie's desktop about a manner of existence that pops up no matter where and almost always when things are perfectly content being as it should be. Sticky in motion. And he came to new son of the surf and they asked him, what must I do to become a poet? And new sun just grew brighter and surf kept up its rolling whisper and he strained to hear them because the noise of men passed by in front. And he looked up to sky where grand brush strokes of cirrus and wispy telltales laughed and crisscrossed against deepening blues the higher he went. And he asked again, what do I do for this calling of mine? What is expected? And their voices thinned and mingled and spun out things ever more fantastic. And there went by men like him, but purposeful folk in motion directed. And he looked their way to pop the question, content of course to let them go unmolested because they couldn't say or wouldn't, he knew. But notwithstanding, and nevertheless, for all he could tell, they had the answers. And if he could have, he would have mouthed it. Brothers, tell me, what's the key? I'm still stumped. How do you do it? To be continued. Keyboard Cadence one day I was playing the keys blind while fooling with a line banging around in my head. Did you ever do that? Pretty soon the cadence of the words overtook their melodies. And I heard my fingers tapping out a rhythm as on a timpani keyboard free of reference to any key sequence in particular. They danced in and around riffs and variations and I let them go. Afterwards, I was interested to see the results. The music of the words, thus restored, sounds its own mysteries. I offer nothing further in the way of explanation or translation. I'm feeling fat and Joseph Brodke's dead. I'm feeling fat and Joseph Brodke's dead. Kim feeling fat and that Gyoshki Brodsky Daria. Im fia in glal falt an jostre apeshia dea, im wulret adzins atheni adst degosh garks dead, am felliging fat nad hagosha grosen sedade, am felling a kakifista an de gbosh groshte de sea atim, anem feeling a hat im graki gbrokski gal. I'm feeling the fact that I'm going to be a dear. I'm going to feel fiesta in the gross that is dead. I'm feeling that I'm not gross that I'm dead. I'm not going to be a dear. I'm not going to be a dear. Right anyway, damn way I please. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. This is a slip. This is a test. This is an uncle. This is the answer. And this is a guilt. This is a toaster. What roll pulls the head steam tank? What soul that did that? What post out the spoke at Imster? Gosh. A confusing time to be sure, days and nights on the streets of Orlando. But also, so recently sprung from prison, one grand moment to breathe, especially on a certain morning towards Easter, Lenten sunrise. It's not so difficult after all, the blocks we dump atop ourselves. To sit and be quiet, to be present to all that's given, to attempt no more than there is, to open to all of that, to not judge, nor analyze, nor organize, nor engage necessarily, to be unafraid, to be truly here, what they like to call passive, to turn it all off, to turn it on, to exorcise, to inhale, to be swept up along, forward, backward, around, within, to cherish but one leaning, 
a single swaying that won't be denied, appealing as though what's forged to sing, what maybe they'd call a prayer. Thank you. Here's another from the bottom of the barrel, questions. What you can't write isn't nearly as significant as why, though if you ponder too long the question when slips right between hands of a face laughing in measured clicks, locking out the memories, blocking a will to cheat nothingness, where something, just something, might make the difference between being here and not. It doesn't have to be very ceremonious. It can be done in a minute. It has the quality of great accomplishment just the same. It is an act of wildest freedom. It is as common as breathing. It is best done after some acclimating, perhaps a dance. It most often has the spirit of vast sky about it. It puts a period to things. It comes at the truth altogether obliquely. It changes everything. It laughs in the face of I can't. It is best done with musical accompaniment. It is the act of supreme childlikeness. It ushers in the wisdom of the ancients. It opens the heart to real. It doesn't tolerate money words. It rejoices in all that's about to be. It can even be picked up, begun all over again. It laughs in the face of a clock. It travels at the speed of light, maybe faster. It has taken a lifetime to perk, maybe more. It grows in silence like seeds in manure. It is best entered into with a candle burning. It won't be boxed, though it may be delivered neatly packaged. It is almost glib, though it doesn't begin to let me get away with it. It is the most generous of things to do, for it returns more than anything I can name, and it gives meaning to whatever follows. It tiptoes a tightrope between thought and sense, and then, and then it lets go. It rolls like the surf. It unifies. It breathes. Last word of the day.